All right, hello. A frustrating video today. It's a red day, and I got top ticked on a stop loss. So, had to take a while after that and compose myself. Did get two more trades in after that, so we'll see how those went as well. But I'm red on the day, so that means there's going to be a lot more of you watching this video. <laughs> let's go, let's trade. Alright, so I hit the red trade right out of the bat this morning. It was here on Roblox. You can see it popping nicely here. And I go ahead and start 100 shares short here at 39.87. I was thinking that it may just do a quick little fake break up through the pre-market highs here. And it's already pretty extended. And it's only 100 shares, so I wasn't thinking that I was going to be uh, risking too much here if, if it wanted to keep going. But it ends up, as you'll see here, getting a little bit grindy. So on this initial shares here, I was thinking it's either going to come back down pretty quick and I'm just going to get a small win to start the day, or if it comes back up towards the 40, 50s, I will be looking to add in. So it kind of pops up a little bit over where I got in and then it comes back down and it's a little too fast for me there. You can see I put the order out at 39.60, but it got below and popped back up over just like that so did not get the fill there and have not gotten an add in yet but i'm just going to leave that order out to sit here at 39.60 and then we'll see what it does so looking still for a pop higher if it wants to pop up towards that 40 50 range is where i'm looking to add in here still on roblox and then i'm just gonna like i said leave that order sitting out there at 39.60 at this point just in case it does another quick flash flush and i am too slow again to get the move so it's it's kind of a little a little slowish here more than I would like but it's still very nice and extended off of the bottom and Nate and made a pretty decent move nothing crazy I wish that these were you know it had made this move on top of the pre-market highs then it would have been really really nice instead of coming back up to the pre-market highs but you know can't win them all so it's moving here it's coming up towards the 4030s and I was trying to wait for a little bit higher here before I got my add in I was hoping for at least up through the the 4040s on a, a kind of a half dollar move but right here at 4030 kind of really starts getting a little bit stuck and slow so I'm watching it and I'm like uh, should I just get my add in here cuz otherwise I might miss it and then just really be stuck in a grinder for a bit here so I'm thinking about just putting my order out here and seeing if I can add in right here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and put the order out and get a fill here at 4035. Now I have 200 shares short at 4011 and still willing to add into this one. Only 200 shares into Roblox so far. So you can see it doesn't really pull back at all and it, then it does make a nice move. I had 200 more shares in here. Now I have an average of 4042. And because I have kind of started this one slowly and small, I'm still okay with going another 200 shares because that's not gonna do anything to put me at risk of getting too large on this one. So still willing to go another 200 shares here if it gives me a pop through 41. So that's what it's going to do. It pops through 41 here. I add in for the final time. Now I have 600 shares short at 4062. And really at this point, I was feeling pretty good about it. I liked where I was, had the potential to come all the way back down towards 40 here. They want to make a move and I've got a little bit bigger share size. So I felt pretty good about it initially, but it came all the way down to my average and kept bouncing off of my average. I eventually put a stop out at 4130 which is a little bit over the break of the previous highs just because in case it wanted to do a kind of a fake out breakout type scenario there, I wanted to give it a little bit of breathing room. So I put my stop in at 41.30 and unfortunately it's going to come up and get me stopped out there for minus 422. So less than, you know, a bigger loser should be, but uh, still annoying. And here's why, because you can see right after I got stopped out, top ticked it away by just one cent it comes all the way back down under my average. And to be fair here, I would not have just been taking the whole thing off. I would have taken 75% off and then still been red on the remaining 25%, but would have been much less red. So annoying there to say the least. 
So it took me a while to recompose myself because I was frustrated with just how it played out. Not not the red part, but just how it played out. But SRG does start popping here much later in the day. So I'm going to put an order out here for 500 shares at 1030. I get that fill there and we'll see what it does. Yes, it's 500 shares. No, that's not anger trading. It's just the appropriate share size for the cost and the move in this play. So you can see it's starting to come down here and I'm just not looking for much here. If we can get a nice flush down under 1020, I would like to take it. But if it's going to just hang here at 1020, I'm going to think about taking half of the shares off and see if the rest can go. So it starts getting hung up here at 1020. I'm like, Ugh, this is annoying. Is it going to do this same type of deal that uh, Roblox did to me earlier today? So I'm going to go ahead and put my order out and get a fill there for half the shares at 1020. And then I know it immediately starts coming down after that but at least i've still got 250 shares left to go to see what those can do and i'll be looking for 1010 on those so a couple minutes later I have my order sitting out there at 1010 it's coming down just looking to get a fill here and at least make a little bit of money back on the day would at least make it hurt a little bit least less be less annoying so i get the fill there make 75 dollars back on srg nothing big but now i just really want to get under the $300 mark if I can do that. So a little bit later in the day, coins popping up here, looking to see if it can get up through the $63 hole number. There's the pop through 63. I get a fill there at 6307, so maybe a little a little lower than I thought or was hoping to get there, but as it comes back down, we're looking for a nice move under 6280. See if we can get a little bit of money back here out of coin and hopefully get under 300, but you know, got close. So got down to minus 311 with that move in coin. Just, uh, you know, doing the right thing at least. So that's the good part about the day. Did the right things along the way. Just frustrated with how it played out. And by the right things, I mean put the stop loss in there and stuck to it. Didn't get, uh, you know, too annoyed with it that I wanted to keep going and not stop out. And then it turned into a big loser. So at least I stopped stuck with the stop. And then I didn't get too big on my trades after that, trying to make it all back at once. So, you know, made a little bit of money back overall, minus 300 on the day, no big deal. It does turn the week red because I didn't have much trading this week, but you know, by the end of the month, we'll be nice and green as always. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. It's annoying to go into the weekend red for sure, but you know, hey, sometimes that happens. Sometimes that's how the market goes. Can't win them all. I'll catch you later.